see the surface on this side here is a bit greasy. Just with the salt tracking the water and then it's a lot busier than what I thought it was going to be. Okay, you can see how heavy that traffic is there. I don't know if I'm going to get anything at all, but I'll try the, I'll try the Panthers first, clearly. See what we can get. Just to see if we can get the car dialed in. So you'll see. Turn this on and then turn this on and turn the car on. So we'll put pan satellites and see there. It's on it. Alright. GPS right there. So we'll go track and start. I'll just see if I can get the car dialed in here a bit. Now these are just the Panthers, just as we warm up path. But again, the way the road conditions are, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Ultimately, running on the wrong way was far easier than this, because you had no issues with traffic or anything like that. We'll probably not do a full run, considering the traffic. So there's a car coming out down there. We'll bring it in slowly. Hopefully it, it holds, holds the road without crashing. What am I looking for here? Tape. Tape the car up. There's a lot of cars. So I hope I don't panic. I'll leave everything sitting there. That... Let's make sure she's going. Okay, well the steering's all right there, that. I'll take it down there, I want to do my uh, steering trim's fine, jewelry at 32 was fine. We'll bring that up a bit so we can get the car turned at the bottom of the road. We have a jogger. Are we able to get right round? And cars coming. Turn the jewelry back down to 32. And hopefully we can keep a clear road. I'm gonna get on the other side of this. So we on. Out that jogger, unfortunately that jogger's there. You can get a nice clean pass, I'll be happy. I don't know what he's doing, he's stopping there. Don't you dare stop there, mate. Come on. Oh, he's turning. The car coming out up there. Maybe he could have went. Car there. And a learner coming now as well. See if this guy's getting a... A dog out here, I'd be pissed off. He is too. I can't believe they've got a dog out. Let this car pull in. Right, we're gonna go. Let him get behind my car now, she'll be able to go. Right, I'm gonna go. Here we go. So those batteries, that's the Turnergy batteries. I'm glad I managed to get it down there. Right, let's go, let's bring it back down. I'm 
I'm excited after that, but look at that. There, there's not a single car about. So there's not, let's turn off this. Okay. My mouth is dry as sin. Okay. So look, you can see that's still on that, all right. It's probably not gonna be a PB. If it is, I'll be pleased, but it didn't sound like it. she was, uh, obviously the batteries aren't the Onyx batteries, but let's go, stop, read. 141, no, definitely not. Definitely not, so 141 on that road. So if I put the Onyx ones in, we should do better. But it's still a nice free run. Car was, it was doing what I wanted it to do. Um, so we'll, we'll gather ourselves here again. Content, let's see what. What's my motor sitting at? I'll go see. My Fahrenheit, sorry. Content. I'll check this one out. Seems quite warm. So let's see. 50 degrees. Again, I'm just gonna go easy because the road's not really fit for really high acceleration. So I really, 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 really need to be careful. 40. 50 on the top. I haven't heated them for that long, I've only heated them for half an hour. But that's quite toasty. Let's past. Hopefully she's out of the way by the time I go to run. All right, so GPS is in there, you can see. Go start, okay, that's us. The bottom of the road, steering trim, everything's all right. So let's go. We'll pull him down. I think that's me. So I'll turn the dual rate down again to what I thought was good. Heart's going quite hard here. There's that dog walker coming again. So I need to be going here any second because that dog walker's coming. There's a van, unbelievable. Get the van going past and then I'll go. Everything's on. Just coming back across, get the van down quickly. As soon as he goes past, we're gonna go. There's nobody coming there. So as soon as he goes, we're gonna go. Nobody coming, nobody coming. Nobody coming, let's go. There's a foam away, there's a foam away. Foam away and the crash. There's a foam away, there's a foam away. Foam away and the crash. You watch that up there? Let's go, that's a crash, hopefully he doesn't run over it. Just watch that up there mate, just watch that in the road. That's not so good, come on mate. It's 
it's just hit the wall like looking at it like there's a wing just hopefully she's not too bad here Oh, oh my god, she is smashed. Now, that's because the foam went. That foam over there. That's the problem, we're running here. So, we'll go across here and we'll park up. That's disappointing to say the least. Let's see what speed we got before we go and look. Hopefully the GPS is still on it. Up, read 133 just I'm nearly certain I could hear the foam going from the very very start don't know why I didn't get out of it sooner but as soon as I hit the brakes she went across so you can see that's the foam there that went two foams two foams went there and there. Oh, she's she's lost the drive at the front. Oh, we've lost the drive shaft. So we'll have there's a drive shaft missing there. No. All right, but at least she's still working. How straight is she going? How straight is she going? Still going straight. Okay, right, so I've worked out what's happened. So on the way up the road, I'm nearly certain I heard it go a bit funny as it was coming towards me. Um, and what I've only found out there, whenever it was going, I sent the drive shaft at the front and has come off. Okay, so you can clearly see the cup, it looks like the cups come off, the drive cups come off. And it's actually been flailing about, you can see it's hit the steering, the top of the steering. Um, rack. And then it's come out and she's gone to rear wheel drive only. Rear wheel drive only. And then obviously she's blew the foams, because they were lighting the foams up and she wasn't accelerating. Uh, other than that, like the damage, is minimal, I'll have to have a look at this, this looks like it's quite bad sort of the chassis a wee bit everything else seems alright um, the shell is wrecked so it is in multiple places so that foam blew out that foam blew out and then literally, because I didn't know what was going on literally as soon as I hit the brakes the back of the car has come round because the back wheels have locked up put the car into the into the wall. Other than that, it wasn't driver error, it was mechanical failure. She's been coming up, hit the brakes and then she's come in and she's slid in there and hit the curb and then landed up there. 